I was talking to one of the teacher groups and I was just asking them, you know, who are some people that they have seen that have been struggling through this or that have seen this experience firsthand because something kind of got lost in translation when they were doing that online learning. And they connected me with Ashley and then she just started talking to me. She's doing summer school right now. So she said, yeah, you know, I've seen a lot of people who, a lot of students that were failing before and now they're actually in her summer school program. They're trying to make up for things now. So I'm a teacher at Edgewater High School and I do 9th through 12th grade and I teach Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus. Cool. So yeah, just to start off, tell me, you know, what was your experience going through the pandemic and online learning and how all of that kind of started now? Uh, it was definitely a new experience going through all of that. It was a, we'll say a great creative challenge for teachers because one of the biggest things we struggle with nowadays is engagement and cell phones and trying to compete against students being on other devices. And it's a lot easier for a student to be engaged when they're right there in front of you, you're face to face. And how about like now that they're back, you know, in, in, in person after all of that, have you seen that there's been kind of a, a, a transition in their behavior? Yeah, they are still trying to build up, I guess like the, the stamina of going to school for eight hours a day because they're used to, a lot of them would log in and go on, you know, Big Blue Button or Microsoft Teams or whatever platform they were using, log in, and sometimes they would go and try to fall back asleep or, you know, just like have a little bit more breaks, a little more unstructured breaks than what they're used to. I was pretty much ignoring school. It was the least of my concerns. It should have been the top of my concerns, but uh, I wasn't paying attention to it all. I couldn't really focus. Even if I tried, it's like a full day, which is like seven hours. If I tried to focus for that long, I was beat by the end of it. Your eyes start to strain, so you're looking at a screen for a long time. If you ever try to do it, math on the computer is not easy. It's not, <laughs> it's, it's very difficult, especially calculus. That's a, that's a whole new ballpark. Um, so going, when I was doing online, doing calculus was very difficult. I mean, I was, I was struggling. And it's hard to get that one-on-one -on -one with the teacher because she has to address everybody that's on the online class. State standardized assessment scores show during the pandemic, 32% of students scored in the level one, meaning they needed substantial support to move to the next grade level. Only 10% scored a level three or complete mastery of the subject. My best friend, he didn't come back. Or for, for, he came back for his senior year, but his junior year, he didn't come back at all. And he was, his grades were struggling. He was struggling personally and you know, mentally because he couldn't hang out with his friends. He has a respiratory condition, so it made sense that he couldn't go out, but it was really hard for him. That bled into his education, you know, couldn't focus on anything. He had a big, big struggle. There was no social interaction, which is the only thing that keeps most high schoolers in school is the fact that they can go to a class, hang out with their friends, and then leave. If you can't do that, then it kind of takes the whole essence of high school out of it. High school is an experience, and if you aren't hanging out with your friends in class, then you're kind of struggling through it. So online learning took away the whole social aspect of everything. The problems stem deeper than just education. The mental health impacts still affect some today. You know, we do have some kids in summer school right now making up for those for those losses. But I do think it's it's more than just an academic issue. It's you know an emotional issue as well. It's it's a lot. You know, especially with the economy going on, we have in high school we have kids who work because they have to work. She, she's experienced this firsthand. She's the one, you know, grading these kids. She's the one that's having to work with them, working with their families, and that maturity level isn't the same. Uh, my freshmen coming in are like, I'm like, are you guys, you're 14, yeah. you're acting like you're 11, like it's, uh -huh. it's okay, you know. She told me today I'm receiving less and less parent emails right now because they are finally working through things and they're trying to rework their plans because they're seeing that there are spots missing. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out, well, what additional things can we do to kind of make up for that learning loss? It's like a team effort. It's not going to be just a teacher getting that child up. It's going to be the child, the parent the teachers, the admin, the support staff, everyone all together. 
are you would you say more optimistic or more worried? I mean, th these are people, uh, you know, th these are going to be our, our next leaders after this, and they're having to go through all of these struggles now. I think they're going to be okay. I think uh, they're they're pretty resilient. They are. They're a pretty resilient bunch. They there are a lot of them who genuinely want to learn and want to do better. We do have the kids who will take advantage of the situation that they're in, but there are some who do have that like internal motivation to be successful. All right, so we just got the numbers from the Florida Department of Education, and it looks like it's the same trend that we have been seeing throughout this entire story. Looks like here for math, we have 21%. A couple years ago, well, it went back up to 30, and it looks like just like Ashley Modesto was talking about, they're going back down to 27%, and they're still trying to fill that gap to help these kids. Hey there, I'm Martha Sagowski. If you like the content we produce here at Channel 9, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.